Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching my new video. Um, so you are here for this beautiful, summery, orange, easy. It's a very easy look to do, guys, I promise you. And I think it suits everyone. Okay, I talk too much again. So if you want to know how I created this look, keep on watching. Hi guys, so this is how I look right now with my hair looking so poofy this is how my hair looks like after i've washed it and after it's like naturally dried so it's kind of poofy but we will fix that later so we're going for a very glowy kind of like a natural um spring summer look if you know what i mean i always get comments when i say natural but natural means um not less product but it means lighter colors more fresh more like neutral colors um so that means like natural for me if you know what i mean and of course we are not going to use a very thick covering foundation we are trying to use a luminous product with a lot of glow so what i really love is for sally's new like serums i don't know if it's called a serum yeah it is it's the unicorn essence which is really great um i actually love every serum of farsali we are going to work that in oh it smells amazing after that i'm using the smashbox primer oil photo finish primer oil primer oil i love this primer if you have dry to combination skin it's perfect because this really makes your foundations look very flawless, not cakey at all, especially if you're going for a full coverage, like um, for example, the Huda Beauty foundation or the Tarte Clay foundation. It's quite like heavy, high covering foundations. This primer oil is just perfect to get rid of that cakiness going on. But not only that, it's also really great to get that glowy skin, because we're not going to use a very thick foundation so for foundation we are going to use the NARS natural radiant long wear foundation which is currently one of my favorite foundations it's full coverage it doesn't feel heavy at all on the skin which is actually a um, unique combo um, but to get that extra glow going on we are going to use the insta strobing from Rimmel I've received it today so we're going to mix these two and See how it looks. By the way, I'm using the color Santa Fe. Santa Fe. I'm so pale right now that none of my other foundations matches my skin. I wanted to use this one anyway, but still, I need to get a tan. That matches good. So if your skin is flawless, you don't have to use a lot of foundation. Um, I'm just using a little bit more, but usually in the summertime, of course, when you have a tan and your skin is looking glowy anyways, you don't need a lot of products. The next thing that I really wanted to use is the new Huda Beauty Bronze Sense. Yeah, Bronze Sense Edition. And it says, which really caught my attention, was um, you have to use it differently than her other palettes. The first one is apply Barbados as a base to smooth skin and amplify light reflecting pearls so actually maybe i had to apply this before the foundation but i'm still going to use that on my whole face and then we're just going to give everything a try i'm very curious to try this i'm using the same brush that i've used for my foundation oh i can already see the glow going on can you see that even though it's a lot of glow it's not like too much or it doesn't look sweaty or dirty but maybe because I'm very into glowy bases. Moving on, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in a light medium. Since I have this, I haven't used another concealer, I think, because it's just, you know, actually everything you need in a concealer. Using a sponge, I'm going to blend everything. To set the under eyes, I'm going to use the Smashbox palette. This is the contour palette. And I kind of forget how much I really love this one. So I am happy that I'm reusing it. I am going to use the lightest shade, which you can probably see it's the most used one. And it's really nice because it really brightens up your under eyes. 
you see it brightens up even more. So I like that about a um, powder on my forehead. But not too much because we still want this look to be very glowy, very healthy. So I'm going to do my brows and since this is a kind of like a natural look, we are going to do the brows natural as well, which is always challenging for me, as you know. So for brows, I'm going to use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in number four, which is one of my favorite pencils to use. It works so precisely. I wish I had number three as well, because I think that's a lighter color, um, but four will do anyway. Okay. I was very quick with that one. So I think this looks pretty okay. It's still like natural. I do like the color though. I think four is a great color. So to define the brows, I'm going to use a concealer also as a eye primer, as you guys know. So I'm going to blend everything, uh, define the brows, do the other brow and come back. So the brows are done. I was very fast with the brows today. So I'm taking the Huda Beauty palette again because I'm just very curious what this is going to do on my face before we start with the eye makeup. So we're going to use a Maldives, this one, and this is just the highlighter. And then we have to use Aruba under the cheekbones as some kind of like contour, I think, and a Bora Bora on the um, cheeks. Damn, cheeks. So I don't think this is going to be a very contoured look, but very more like a strobed contouring if you know what I mean oh my god I talk so much okay let's do this by the way this is a super nice brush it's NYX professional makeup brush in number 26 it's perfect for highlighter okay Maldives going in right now very nice I have to say it's a very golden color so if you're paler than me it is going to be probably too gold for you unless you really like that. So everything that's too gold for you, you can use it as an eyeshadow. Oh my God, the glow is real though. Honestly, this highlighter does remind me a little of the Trophy Wife from Fenty Beauty, but it's just slightly lighter, I think. But it's definitely a lookalike. Is it too dark? No, we're just going to work it. Hmm, that does look good. Okay, a little on the chin. I think that looks quite nice. Contouring my nose just a little bit, not contouring, more defining. Chin. Oh my god, I'm actually really liking it because I really love the color of Aruba, as you can see. It's a very weird, in a good way. Aruba has kind of like an olive tone, like olive undertone, um, which makes it look very real, like very bronzed, not orangey at all, not very ashy at all. Just a really true bronze color, which I love because it looks very real, if you know what I mean. Using the same brush, I'm going in with Bora Bora and sweep Bora Bora on, on the apples of your cheeks for a healthy glow. Okay, here we go. To really make everything very luminous and very dewy, and to get rid of the powderness, I'm going to use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Face Mist. Oh, it smells so good. So for the eyes, I'm going to keep it very simple. This time, I promise that I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to use the Soft Glam by Anastasia, which really matches my backdrop. Uh, not intentionally. But I feel like uh, this palette is just perfect for everyday use. And if you need like one or two colors, you know, this palette is perfect. So as I said, we're keeping it very simple. So I think I'm going to use two or maybe three colors 
and I'm going to start with burnt orange and we're going to give the eyes some definition just applying this into the crease don't think about it too much because we don't want any harsh lines everything about this look has to be smooth faded kind of like as if I'm in a Tom Ford campaign <laughs> I wish So with my finger, I'm going to use the shade Bronze all over my eyelid and then we're just going to slightly darken up the edges with Rustic. So that's it for the eyeshadow, well at least on my eyelids. Now I'm going to do the under eyelid and I'm just going to take Burnt Orange and that's it. We are not going to touch it anymore. To highlight the inner corner, I'm going to use the shade Fairy, which is this shade right here. So today's lashes are going to be Iris Beauty in the name Oshun. Oshun. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so we're going to apply these lashes. I'm going to apply some mascara and I'll be right back. I've applied the lashes. The mascara is the MAC D76, as always. Um, still not empty. And for lips, we are going to do nude. No, just kidding, just kidding. Before you all start to <laughs> again. What the hell? We are going to use the Melted Ma Matte. Sorry, I was just going to talk Dutch to you. Melted Matte uh, Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced in the color Mrs. Roper, which is a very hot orange color because it's summer it's warm we want the sunshine we want the sunset on our face something like that but this is a perfect match this is the Gigi Hadid from Maybelline same issue again where's the name you guys oh my god oh loving this already Oh, that shade is so pretty. And the weird thing is it's a warm shade, but it doesn't really make my teeth look yellow. If you know what I mean? I feel like a very pretty orange. Like the fruit orange, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's it, guys. I hope you like this look. I love how it came out. It's kind of like summery. Reminds me of oranges. Reminds me of, I don't know, a really nice fruit. For some reason, whatever. Um, definitely, you can you can definitely wear this look with a nude lip, with a glossy lip, which is very like um, summer proof, you know, like glossy lips. Um, I want to share my opinion real quick about this palette from Huda Beauty. I love the palette because I do understand like the whole concept uh, of it. It does give you a very nice bronzy glow. Although I have to say, if you're way paler than me, it is going to be too dark on you. But I do really, really love the shade. What was it? Aruba. And actually, I really love the glow on my face. I just love it. I love the whole idea of this palette, the whole concept. I think this is my favorite from all of her other highlighter palettes because it just gives you that real glow, like that real fake tan, if you know what I mean. So, loving it. It is probably the most easy look I've ever done, so you guys can do it too. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe to my channel, follow me everywhere, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and here, of course, thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you next time in my new video. Bye.